is a fairly new surgical option. It has been available in US for about seven years, since 2004, and it is a minimally invasive surgical procedure. By that, I mean with the standard procedure, the visual recovery is a lot slower and the complications are a lot more. Whereas with the trabectome, basically what I do is I pass a probe through the clear part of the eye, which is the cornea, and then work on the drainage system from the inside. What I do is take off a piece of the diseased drainage system and that helps to create the flow of the fluid in the right direction and thus lower the eye pressure. The positive from this procedure is it takes less than half an hour to perform. It's a same day procedure so the patient goes to the operating room, gets a mild sedation or what is called twilight sleep and they go home the vision they recover within a week or two and they are back to work within a few days and that definitely is a big advantage. It's a, an excellent option for say someone who's having a cataract surgery. So they are going to be going to the operating room for removal of their cataract but if they also have glaucoma and they are using two or three different bottles it is many times a big issue for patients to remember to use those drops, especially if they're working full time in the middle of the day. It's not easy to remember to get those drops in. Another big factor is the cost of those drops. Some of those cost about $150 for one bottle that lasts about a month. So looking at all those different factors, I do recommend this surgery for patients who say either the glaucoma is not controlled with eye drops or if it's controlled but they are going to have cataract surgery. So it saves them that extra trip of going to surgery maybe six months later and also at the same time being able to get off all the glaucoma drops for a prolonged period of time. The recovery is a lot quicker but it being a procedure on the eye, it is done under the microscope, so it is a very fine, precise procedure. In fact, the cut I make is less than 1.5 millimeter big, so it's a very fine, minim tiny little cut that usually seals on its own. You don't need any stitches, and basically the recovery is amazingly quick. The eye is numbed up thoroughly so the patient does not feel any pain. And again, it's an electrosurgical procedure. So basically, I'm just taking a piece of the diseased tissue out and creating a new channel for the fluid to be draining out so that the pressure doesn't build up anymore. And most of the patients, if not all, are able to get off the glaucoma drops. may not work for closed angle because I'm looking at removing the diseased drainage system. But when it's totally shut down, I don't have access to that area to be able to get some of that tissue out. So it's not a good option for angle closure glaucoma. But for all other kinds of glaucoma, whether it is trauma-related, steroid-induced, rela steroid or some other kinds of glaucomas, it's a very good option. so much research going on in all aspects of treatments, whether it's medication, surgery, lasers. Ideally, if we could find a medication that you could take a pill just like we do with high blood pressure or diabetes, or even something that we could use once a month, of course that's less invasive than eye surgery. So it's hard to say if this would become the gold standard. My hope is that eventually we'll get to the point where we can prevent the disease from progressing by simple measures like pills rather than surgery. But I think this is definitely a really good option and it's right up there with the standard procedure which is a filter or a trabeculectomy.